Hello LEGO fans, welcome back to another Magboy Creations video. This review is going to be of City Set 60012, 4x4 and diving boat. It retails in the US for $19.99. It is 128 pieces. You get two minifigures, one 4x4, one trailer, which you can attach a small craft to. This is our Coast Guard 4x4 truck. As you can see, there are a few stickers in this set. And let's just have a look at it from a full 360 view. I kind of like the way the color scheme is on this build. I like that the tires stick out. They're a little beefy. And even the truck is, is raised a little bit to give it that 4x4 look if we just tilt up. You can see there's plenty of clearance between the bottom of the tire and the top of the wheel well. That's pretty cool. And we have our driver inside, one of our Coast Guard members. This door does open. And we'll take a peek down inside. Plenty of room for one minifigure. You can't put his hands exactly straight or perpendicular to his seating position because uh, these door studs do stick up a little bit and it will prevent you from putting your hands in a perfect perpendicular line. We'll just put the top back on for a moment. We'll take a look at the minifigure after this. As we circle around to the back we can see that there is some diving equipment. We have a couple fins, we have a helmet with a pair of goggles and a snorkel and of course our air tank. We have our megaphone on the side and from the back we can see the set number license plate as well as some brake lights and here is our attachment to where our trailer hooks in it's just a ball we'll look at the trailer in just a moment and on this side we have a walkie-talkie which is attached to the vehicle and we'll just tilt up so you can get a good shot of the front of the car with the grill. And I do like this sloped brick right here. It gives you some ground clearance. And if we just look at the bottom, standard bottom chassis to vehicles that we have become accustomed to seeing from LEGO. And this is where you get your height. You have a 2x2 two two brick in here that attaches under the chassis and then you have your axle piece attached to that brick and that's where you get the wheel clearance from the bottom of the wheel well. So it's a different type of build, nice design. And before we look at our minifigure, I wanted to remove him from the vehicle so you can get a good look at this light transparent blue piece in the back. You can see through the cab, it's easier to see if we look through the back side and this is to resemble the sliding glass door so you can pass things or reach through from the cab into the back and I thought that was pretty unique to this build I like they threw that in there here is our first minifigure he's wearing his life vest he has a blue cap on standard yellow flesh colors for minifigures he's a happy guy no printing on the pants there is printing on the torso we will take a look at that in a moment Let's just spin them around a little bit. You can see that there's no printing on the sleeves. There is no back face, but he does have printing on the back of his torso. Here we can see the printing on the torso and the belt holding up his pants, his Coast Guard badge, as well as the ribbon paint on the shoulders. Here is our Coast Guard rescue craft. This particular piece of the build contains the most stickers there's a total of seven stickers that go on this craft. You have two in the front, two on the sides, the set number on each side of the back, and then this emblem on the sloped white brick is also a sticker. You have your little glass shield from the water jumping into the craft as you're going over the wake, and you have one minifigure with some lights behind him. And if we spin the boat around, we can catch a glimpse of what would be the motor and the propellers. I think it looks okay 
as a motor and two propellers using the two one by one circle bricks. I think they could have done a little bit better. I don't know if making a unique piece would set this apart from just being a standard blah motor, if you ask me. The engine can't be lower than the craft itself, or else you won't have a stable, flat boat. It'll tip left or right, or it won't look very nice. But what they could have done is had some type of motor on a hinge piece that will flip up out of the water, and this craft will float if you'd like to take it inside your pool or your bathtub, and then you could just flip the motor down so the actual propeller itself protrudes a little bit lower than the bottom of the boat line. As you can see here, this is completely flat. Uh, I think that that little adjustment, uh, tilting the motor back and forth uh, and having it come below the, the water line, if you will, if you were in water, that would have been a nice feature to add to this set. We'll just spin it around and we'll take a look at the other side of the boat. So you can see the same type of stickers. And we just have a single steering wheel and really a room only for one minifigure in the back. We're going to have a closer look at our second minifigure. This is our watercraft driver or pilot. He has his orange suit on, wearing a blue ball cap as well. Five o'clock shadow with just a little smirk on his face. I do like the printing on the torso. They have the buckles for the life vest. There is no printing on the arms, nor no alternate color. And this does carry around to the back where he has a safety harness and a strap, just in case we needed to call the Coast Guard helicopter. To come in and help. Maybe he needed to be lowered or raised as part of the rescue. Here is our pilot wearing the snorkel gear or the diving gear. He has on his fins which just attach to the bottom of the feet. He's wearing his air tank and hose as well as a helmet with his snorkel and goggles which do flip up. And there's a shot of our minifigure wearing the diving gear from the back. Here is our trailer that attaches to the back of our 4x4 where our watercraft just sits right on top of those two studs. Here is the ball joint that connects to the back of the trailer. Two wheels and if you spin it around you have two brake lights. No license plate on the back of the trailer. Hmm, that could be a ticket. And that just goes right on top like that. And that will complete our review of City Set 60012. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave some comments down below. If you like it, leave a thumbs up, share our videos with your friends, and subscribe so we can continue to send you more LEGO videos. Thanks for watching. <laughs>